Hello everyone. Welcome back. In today's session, we will start with a new grammar topic, clauses. It is introduced in class 9 CBSE syllabus this year only. And this is very important topic. So we should understand and we should try to go in the depth. So to start it, let's see here. We should go through with this flow chart. You can see children, clauses. What is clauses? Clauses are group of words. Group of words. What is a speciality there? Which type of group? Which type of group of words? In these words, this is necessary. There must be a subject and a verb. This is must. And when subject and verb is there, this group of words should make a meaningful sense. The meaning must be clear. Suppose I'm saying here, a glass of juice, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, my house. All these are also group of words, but not giving any sense. Right? If I'm saying, I want a glass of juice, I want a cup of tea, I want a cup of coffee. This is my house. So you can say, these are sentences. Why? Because these are giving complete information. And in each and every sentence, there is one subject and one verb. If I'll say, this is my house where I live. This is my house where I live. Where I live. I added here. So now it is a clause. It is a clause. We'll try to understand. Suppose this is here. He plays. He subject and plays verb. Both are here. He plays and giving complete sense. Okay. He plays. Interesting. So one more important thing children. In a sentence there can be one, two or more clauses. But in clause there can't be a sentence. This is important. On the behalf of this chart, we can see this is the definition of clause. A clause is a group of related words which has a subject and a verb. Yes, of course, we discussed right now. That is, that is true. A clause can function as a sentence by itself or as a part of a sentence. Yes, that is also true. As I said right now, this is a house. Yeah, this is my house. This is a sentence giving complete sense. If I can say this is a clause also because we discussed right now that in a sentence there can be two or more clauses. One, two or more. But in clause there can't be sentence. Clause, if I'm saying where I live. So where I live, not giving a proper sense. So this way we will go in the depth to understand all these things, ki how we can go in depth, how we can make easy to understand. Because in examination, uh, we should be prepared like uh, uh, to identify the clauses and how, it is, uh, how this can be possible when we will be aware about the types, condition and the identification of each and every clauses. So, uh, yes, if we are talking about clauses, actually on a main or initial behalf, we can divide clauses in these three parts. Independent clause, dependent clause and coordinate clause. As by the name, it is very clear. Independent. Independent means free. Means this group of word, means this clause is not dependent on another one it has its own thought it means gives the complete sense dependent dependent it means there is a need of other words help or other sentence help to give the complete sense it is not free coordinate coordinate if we will divide it 
it means cooperation maybe if there are two clauses two sentences they are related with each other by using some connectors we can combine them and this is complete this also gives the complete sense like independent clause okay and here we will divide dependent because right now we discussed they both independent and coordinate they are free they are they have their own thought but dependent yes of course we have to understand it very well ki what changes and how we will recognize here to make it easy to understand dependent clause we will divide it in three parts like noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause okay to understand in depth or more clearly we'll see here dependent clause first of all this dependent clause we should understand that we call principal clause main clause as we discussed right now depend independent it means free yes as you can take like this as a principal is free in any of the school principal is free to take any decision main clause main means like its own importance is there so and when comes the importance when the person is free from anything from any rule and regulation so same thing here independent clause you should remember we can divide and we can call it principal clause and main clause a group of words that can stand on its own as a sentence it has a subject a verb and gives a complete thought yes student this is important in each and every clause as in the beginning the in definition or uh, like in flow chart we studied that one subject and one verb is mandatory in a clause so that is in all this is common in all any type of clauses so this is common and here important thing is complete thought this independent clause gives a complete thought we will try to understand through these examples they dance under the rain yes they subject dance verb under the rain object giving complete sense we are able to understand what is the sentence what message is given over here where is your sister though this is interrogative but again your sister subject is verb we are getting complete sense through this sentence also so yes we can understand these sentences are telling us complete meaning what the sentence want to convey us it means these both sentences has the uh, sentences have their own complete thought second clause is here coordinate clause we will try to understand through this definition each part contains a subject and a verb yes we know we discussed in the beginning yes one subject and one verb this is mandatory for all the clauses but there is a difference what is this difference each clause is stand by itself and does not depend on the other yes we discussed in the beginning doesn't depend on the other and they are main or principal clauses because each of them is independent both clauses are there both uh, two clauses are there and these two clauses are independent they are not dependent on each other but what we have to do here these are introduced by coordinating conjunctions such as and but so or otherwise we will combine we will join these sentences we'll try to understand here i am ill so i cannot go to school today suppose i'm giving you two sentences i am ill okay another sentence i cannot go to school today both the sentences are complete in itself i am ill i is subject and am is verb and i am ill giving full sense complete sense yes i am ill i is subject and go verb here in another sentence also i cannot go to school today 
again subject and verb both are here this is also giving complete sense both are different sentences but if we have to join yes we can see illness and can't go to a school so this way we can know what is the reason for the for not going to the school we can combine these sentences by using coordinating conjunctions as it is given here we can combine i am ill so i cannot go to a school today let's see the another example he sells newspaper suppose the first part of the sentence he sells newspaper he earns his living this is the second part and if we want to join these both the sentences yes of course we can join why because after selling the newspaper the person can earn the living yes and we are talking about he this is the main subject he he in both right if you are taking individually he subject sells work he sells newspaper yes of course it is giving a complete sense in the another one he earns his living he subject and earns it is work so this is also giving the complete sense but if we want to join them by using suitable conjunction we can join these both sentences and what it will be he sells newspaper and earns his living you can see here i have written he in bracket it means no need to write he here we should avoid the same subject there is no need so complete sentence will be he sells newspaper and earns his living she worked hard in the next sentence it is here she worked hard she subject worked work yes it is giving complete sense she worked hard yes good she failed she subject failed work so she failed yes this is also giving complete sense but if we have to join these both are opposite work hard and fail right so what conjunction we will use here but to indicate opposite situation we will use but so she worked hard but she failed so this way we can understand ki we will try to find out both the sentences what is the combination in the same manner or opposite as like but we have used here or this is any result showing any result or dependent how the another sentence how it is dependent on others yes so yes uh, now we will come on the another clause that is dependent clause that we call subordinate clause as we discussed in the beginning that dependent this clause is dependent on other clause it doesn't give any complete sense actually let's see we'll try to understand a group of words that contains a subject and a verb yes of course we are aware about it but it is not a complete but it is not a complete thought doesn't give us any complete thought this is main point of dependent clause subordinate clause it is dependent on being attached on an independent clause to form a sentence here need of one independent clause it means principal clause or main clause there is a need of one main clause definitely to give the complete sense how we'll try to understand suppose this is here because i woke up late this morning because i woke up late this morning question comes in your mind what happened because this is not giving this clause is not giving complete sense what happened here we can complete the sentence i was late for school because i woke up late this morning when we arrived in class so of course question comes in the mind what occurred what happened when we arrived in the class all the students were making noise it can be the complete sentence if my neighbor does not play
if my neighbor does does not pay any rent on time so yes in our mind question comes what will happen yes of course it is not giving a complete sense can be anything if my neighbor does not pay any rent on time his belongings will be outside his owner will throw his belongings outside he will be out of the shelter so this way we can complete yes children it means you can see after reading these sentences you have an idea that these they are not actually sentences they are the clauses and not giving the complete sense we need some more words to make it complete and which are these more words actually principal clause main clause it means to give the complete sense there is a need of independent clause main clause or you can say principal clause this is very very important dependent clause as we discussed in the chart this is this has again three clauses dependent clauses can be divided in other type of clauses such as noun clause adjective clause that we call relative clauses also and adverb clauses so noun clauses adjective clauses and adverb clauses so we have to study these three clauses in detail then only we can understand we can justify which is independent clause which one is dependent and coordinate clause or in suppose if you are talking about dependent clause which type of dependent noun clause adjective or adverb this is very necessary so in our next session we will discuss about all these three clauses and you can say complete detail of dependent clauses